Jumping off the porch like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back in with another video. Um, today's video has been highly requested and it's talking about time management in college and more specifically like how my time management in college is different than my time management when I was in high school. I know you guys have been wanting this video for a while so I'm glad I can finally bring it to you. Let's get into it. First thing I have to put out there is that time management in college is so much different than time management in high school. And in my opinion, it's it's a lot harder. In high school, you have like daily homework that's scheduled and assigned on certain days, and it's pretty much either due the next day or like maybe every other day, depending on whether you're on a block schedule or not. But everything's split up into little tiny manageable chunks, so you don't ever have to worry too much about like losing track of time or not being able to schedule everything. The same applies with quizzes, tests, and like other assessments. You're given the dates that they're gonna be on and you have a lot of them, right? You may have a quiz every week and then like a test every month or something like that. At least in my experience in high school, I didn't go more than like two weeks in any of my classes without having a test, a quiz, or something to kind of test my knowledge of the subject. The pace and study habits that I like developed were pretty much based on the pace that the teachers wanted to go and the the pace that the teacher set through the class. In college, none of this applies. Like, none of it at all. Like, it's completely different. For me, around Saturday evening, all of my professors will post the problem sets for their respective class online. As soon as they do, I'll have till the next Thursday or sometimes the next Friday to complete the problem sets. These are not the short little textbook assignments you get assigned in high school. These are tough, long, and difficult sets of problems that will truly like challenge you and make you think. The hardest part about them is that they take a ridiculous amount of time and you have to somehow find time during the week to do them. You spend a lot less time in class in college, but you have a lot more work outside of class. At least for me, I know that my physics and my CS pieces will take between six to 10 hours each week. So I tried to kind of find times on each day to work on a little bit of them or maybe like block out like a long three hour period one day to just strictly work on CS. The key is knowing how much time a problem set will take you and then planning your schedule for that week accordingly. Like I know I can knock out a problem set for computer engineering in one night, right? Cause they take like maybe three hours and they're not that long. But if I tried to knock out my math 225 piece set in one night, that wouldn't be possible. Those P sets take between like 15 and 20 hours. They're ridiculous. There's no way, right? The thing that has been the most help for me when it comes to scheduling time to get P sets done is actually scheduling sessions in your calendar for when you're gonna work on each P set. Like I have my GCAL and I have like when all my classes are, I have when all my meetings for extracurriculars and my like meals with different people are. But what I also try to do is schedule time each week for me to get the work done. So I know that like Monday afternoon from three to five, I'll be working on my physics P set. And I know from seven to 10, I'll be working on math. And that's in my calendar, that's scheduled. Because I know how long each P set takes and I schedule my time accordingly. My next big tip for, uh, I guess, time management in college or time management in general is setting goals. Um, when I wake up every morning, I try to set a goal of what I'm going to get done that day. Whether that's classwork, whether it's like personal goals, whether it's, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write up the script for this video and I'm gonna film it and then uh, tomorrow I'll edit it, right? This doesn't just apply to classes, this applies to like life in general. You should wake up every morning. For me, it's like when I'm in the shower, like I'm in the shower and I think about what do I have to do today? What do I have to do for this week? What am I going to get done today that's gonna help me get towards those goals? I try to set like benchmarks for me to hit by the end of the day. This helps you stay on track and it helps you make sure that you won't get behind. Obviously, I don't always hit the goals that I set for each day, but it's good to just get in the habit of setting goals because then you'll be able to set more realistic goals in the future and reach those. My last big tip, which unfortunately only applies to college students, is going to office hours. Well, I guess I guess it could apply to high school students too if, you're, if your teachers have like tutoring hours or like tutorials or whatever they used to call it. But this is especially important for college students. Every professor is required to hold office hours where their office is open for students to come in and ask questions on PSETs or ask questions about the class in general. But what I found more helpful than the professor's office hours is the office hours with the TAs, the, the teaching assistants, and the peer tutors. They normally hold office hours much more frequently 
and there's a lot more of them so they can spend a lot more time helping you. At least for me personally, I did not spend a lot of time in office hours last semester and I, I kind of regret it because office hours is a great place where you'll find other people to work together with. This is also a lot easier to get the correct answer because you have uh, TAs there to check the answers with. I'll be honest, this semester I practically live in office hours. Um, Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 to 5, I'm in the physics office hours room uh, working through problems and checking my answers. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday nights, for the most part, I'm at math office hours trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing on these P sets and getting little bits of help to help me prove these statements. You're not only there to get help, you're there to make friends and find a great group of people that will be able to support you through the semester in these challenging classes. Like just go to office hours, they're amazing. All right, that pretty much sums up my tips when it comes to time management um, and the little differences between time, my time management in college and my time management in high school. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like. If you're new and you like this video and you wanna see more stuff like this in the future, definitely subscribe. Um, comment down below if you have any questions or concerns or just want to say hi. Uh, I try to respond to as many as I can. I'll be back again in a couple days, hopefully, with another video. So I'll see you soon.